so here we have our maxim assistant which is built using gen ai uh, the use case here is the users will be asking question uh, the users are the maintenance personnel technicians or supervisor or any other person who is working for any kind of asset management role will be asking a question and this particular question will be asked from ai agent now ai agent is connected with llm and llm will be doing all the natural language processing for any question that user is asking if llm does not have the answer then agent has availability of some tools we have created some tools these are the tools which will be fetching the information or which will be doing some different task with maximo data and finally user will be able to get the response so for the setup we will be using b ai framework so this particular framework is has the ability to create ai agent and we will be able to create tools which will actually be able to connect with maximo and able to get the data then we for llm we are using watsonx.ai and here in the watsonx.ai we are using llm and that is the model that we are using is granite 38 b instruct you have ability to choose any other model as well which you can use so this is the ui of the ai agent and we can connect and we can ask any kind of question so if you see i have said hey and then llm here is responding that how is it going so i can ask any other kind of question also right for example i can say tell me about asset i1001 so this is a particular asset which i have in my asset register you can see that ai agent is asking to get a permission of a tool and you can actually see what exactly agent is doing that is the advantage of the bai framework and you can see that it has connected with maximo and it has fetched that particular information for us if i say that show me assets with description generator similarly ai agent is going to connect to maximo and it will be fetching all the required information so as you can see it is doing it is basically using the tool and you can see that it has fetch these are the assets where the description is generated and it has provided asset number description location and the status similarly we can do any other kind of questions also for example let me ask show me work orders where status equal to expired so i want to see what are the statuses uh, where the work order is there in expired status so you can create one tool you can create multiple tool right and uh, basically it is going to so i have created another tool for to query the work order and then if you can notice that the uh, the assistant has asked me to provide the access for the tool and similarly it is able to fetch the information and it is going to showcase that these are the work orders which i have where the status is expired we can also ask that tell me about order number 74 and you can see that what ai agent is doing it basically thinks whatever it thinks it prints and you will be able to backtrack that how the ai agent is using to ensure that there is no bias and then there is no hallucination so here you can see that it has also given us the information about this particular work order now this is these are some of the sample use cases which i have shown you obviously we can extend these use cases and there are many other kind of functionality which can be developed by using ai agent hopefully you like the video thanks so much